One of the most precision things that a golf course superintendent can do is seating of a green. We're here at number one green complex at Willow Country Club, and as you can see, our construction company, Landscapes Unlimited, has got our number one green prepped ready for seed. All the depths of the seed has, or the sand has been checked for accuracy, and they've actually floated or spun the green in preparation for us to seed it. Uh, we're in the process right now of putting in pre-amendments prior to seeding, and uh, you'll see a little bit of this as Jordan Booth, my assistant, and Emilio Castillo uh, will be applying these products in preparation for seed. As you can see, Emilio is spreading uh, products on the green as a pre-plant. It's very important for people to understand uh, you must calibrate your spreader and do correct applications with your materials to ensure adequate coverage. Oftentimes a homeowner will go out, look at a bag setting, put it in a spreader, go out and spread his lawn and get an inaccurate application. Oftentimes you'll see check checkerboard uh, looks in people's lawns where it's a dark green stripe than a light green stripe. It's very important that your overlap is correct. The seed selection that we did here at Willow Oaks Country Club is a three-way blend of A1, A4, and G2 bent grasses. The reason why we selected those is each one of them have unique characteristics that are superior to the other. For example, one might have a better heat stress tolerance, another might have a better disease stress tolerance. Again, the third one could have a better color or uh, ball mark healing tendency than the other two. Three-way blend is always a good thing to have on a green. As one suffers, another one can take over. Bent grass seed generally comes in anywhere from six to nine million seeds per pound. We're going at half, one and a half pound rate with the seed. Our spreader is set at three quarters of a pound. So we'll actually go over this green in two directions, three quarters of a pound plus three quarters of a pound for a total of one and a half pounds of bent grass seed per thousand square foot of green. We're doing our cleanup laps right now on the green. Once Jordan has made those cleanup laps, we'll go ahead and make a X or diamond pattern on the green, two directions, applying the seed again at three quarters of a pound in each direction. It's very important that when you're dealing with bent grass seed that you careful as you move the cedar. The seed is so small, so fine, it can drop out of the cedar at any time. The seed is dropped by uh, uh, ground-driven uh, tires on the cedar. So every time that wheel rotates, it can have the potential of dropping seed even with the gate closed. So it's important that you take your time, pick up the cedar, make sure that you maneuver it to locations without the wheels turning. Jordan and Emilio have now finished the seeding on the green. We're now in the process of embedding the seed into the green. It's called waffling. What that waffling does, it actually sets the seed down in a little protected area. It maybe sits down a quarter to three eighths of an inch below the surface. What that allows is for a temperature drop in that specific area. One to two degrees doesn't sound like much, but it might be all that it needs for that seed to pop. It also will retain water a little bit longer than just a flat surface. It all so inhibit wind and other uh, outside forces from removing the seed from the surface of the green. It takes quite a while for, uh, in this case, a, a, a sand rake or sand pro to impress the seed into the, the green. We found this one of the most successful ways of ensuring that the seed stays in place. 
We're at number 11 green, and this will give you more uh, of a clearer picture of what we were doing on number one with the embedding of the seed or setting in of the seed. Oftentimes it's called waffling in the seed into the surface of the green. As you look across this green, we've inset all the seed. It doesn't sound like much, by, but by embedding the bent grass seed on the surface, you create little cavities or pockets for that seed to nestle down in. The surface temperature might be one to two degrees lower in those areas. They also will retain water and moisture a little bit longer. This is number four green, and this green was seeded 22 days ago. This will give you a very good idea out of what I was trying to explain to you on number 11 as far as the waffling or the impressing of the seed. If you look on the, the surface of the green, you're going to see little green squares all through here and across the green. And again, that gives you the idea of why it's important to embed the seed into the green. Just that little bit of difference in temperature and moisture has allowed this bent grass to germinate. It's allowed it to pop up and it's lush and green across the surface. Generally, it takes approximately seven to nine days for bent grass to germinate. We had germination within three days, which is pretty amazing. Uh, again, it's very encouraging to see the amount of growth that we've got with proper watering techniques and fertility. We'll hopefully mow this in another two weeks.